Let us visit the May 21 prophecy and learn precious truths from God's Word. What is the truth about the Grim Reaper that appeared in King Charles' coronation? The lunar eclipse, the planetary alignments, are these bad omens or prophetic signs? Welcome to Truth in Bible Prophecy. Kindly subscribe and like this video. You can also support this ministry via PayPal and to become a patron. During the live broadcast of the coronation ceremony held last May 6, 2023 at the Westminster Abbey, many viewers seemed to believe that the Grim Reaper had paid a visit. The mysterious cloak figure could be seen in the live broadcast walking beneath the rude screen of the Abbey holding what appears to be a sky. Most believe that it was a bad superstition omen as the reaper is a sign of death in the book of Revelation. In the prophecy of Daniel chapter 2 verse 21, And he, God Almighty, changes the times and the seasons. He removed kings and raises up kings. The changes of kings and queens has always been a momentous event marked by the Lord God. Just like when the King Jesus is born, a sign in heaven appeared, Matthew 2 verse 9, And behold, the star that they had seen, to rest over the place where the child was. When the Romans recorded that a sign in the sky marked the assassination of the Roman King Julius Caesar were what they call the Star of Caesar. There were signs in the skies when Queen Elizabeth II passed away, the longest serving monarch in England's history at 70 years. Media reported when Queen Elizabeth passed, there were immediately multiple rainbows that appeared in Britain. In some several places, they called it the double rainbow. At the Queen's passing, there were hundreds of reports of a huge multicolored fireball in the sky above the United Kingdom. Express.co.uk, huge bright meteor source across sky in Scotland just days after Queen's death. Now, on the eve of the coronation of King Charles, three heavenly signs appeared. Number one, the lunar eclipse, an astronomical event that will darken the moon as a result of Earth's passing between the moon and the sun. Number two, meteor showers. A spectacular meteor shower lit up the skies during the pre-dawn hours on the day that King Charles will be officially recognized as the United Kingdom's monarch. Number three, May 2023, Planetary Alignment Planetary alignment is an astronomical term used to describe the event when several planets gather together closely on one side of the sun at the same time and it will happen this May 2023. These phenomenons shows that there is a higher king in heaven, King Jesus, bigger than Charles, bigger than any king in the past, in the present, and in the future. And they must all bow to the King of Kings, King Jesus, and He is coming soon. Harold Camping of the Family Radio Ministry notoriously proclaimed that the rapture would happen May 21, 2011. It's past Saturday, May 21st. On May 21, there's going to be a terrific earthquake, way, way greater than anything that the earth has ever experienced. And that'll be the beginning of Judgment Day. We have no plan B. It is going to happen. You know, the Bible is a very factual book. It has given us example after example of when God has predicted something, prophesied something was going to happen, however, however impossible it might look. It always has happened. Except when it hasn't, like the last time camping predicted Armageddon in 1994, and nothing happened. He says this time his calculations of biblical dates and the Hebrew calendar have got it right. His independent Christian media empire spent millions of dollars, some of it from donations made by followers who quit their jobs and sold all their possessions to spread the word on more than 5,000 billboards and 20 RVs plastered with the Judgment Day message. Any past or future date setting of the secret rapture will fail because the secret rapture is simply unbiblical. Evidence found in Revelation 15 verse 8, And the temple was filled with smoke from the glory of God and from His power, and no man was able to enter into the temple till the seven plagues of the seven angels were fulfilled. 
it says that no one will enter heaven until the seven plagues are done. The truth is, you will not find a single text or verse talking about the seven-year tribulation. Majority of the Christian world today is deceived by this modern teaching. Did you know that there would be an eighth king that will have a coronation in the future in the book of Revelation? And God would send signs in heaven. And there are seven kings. Five are fallen and one is. And the other is not yet come. And when he cometh, he must continue a short space. Verse 11, And the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth, and is of the seven, and goeth into perdition. The five that have fallen are thus the empires that rules the world and harm God's people prior to John's time. Egypt was the first power that enslaved and oppressed Israel seeking to destroy it. Assyria destroyed and scattered the ten tribes of Israel. Babylon destroyed Jerusalem and took Judah into exile. Persia almost annihilated the Jews at the time of Esther. Greece oppressed and tried to destroy the Jews through Antiochus Epiphanes. The seventh kingdom that has not yet come was still a future manifestation from John's perspective. The best interpretation is that the seven head is the sea beast of Revelation 13, which represents the medieval church headed by the papacy. This seventh head will reappear as the eighth head and exercise political power the way it did during the Middle Ages. It will appear on the worldwide scene during the time of the end and impose its apostate religious system on the earth's inhabitants. And the eighth king is the papacy, the persecuting power. And the world, Revelation 13 verse 3, will wander after the beast and worship him and crown him as the king of the earth. There will be signs of phenomenon in the sky because of this prophetic coronation of the Antichrist. Revelation 16 verse 8, In a form of a plague, the fourth angel poured out his vial on the sun, and the sun was allowed to scorch people with fire. The fifth angel poured out his vial on the throne of the beast, and its kingdom was plunged into darkness. Sign in the sun and darkness in the very headquarters of Babylon, the Vatican. Revelation 1 verse 6, Jesus had made us kings and priests unto God and His Father. To Him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Would you like to fully surrender your life to a faithful God who wants you to be saved? Kindly type in the comment section, King Jesus will save me. Thank you, dear friends. As the hymn goes, may we all get to heaven. So let us continue to preach truth in Bible prophecy.